welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to be making marinated italian chicken tenders so i'm going to make up my italian vinaigrette for my marinade i have one third of a cup of red wine vinegar an eighth of a cup of white wine vinegar. If you don't have white wine vinegar, you can use all red wine vinegar. Then I have a third a cup of water. Two tablespoons of sugar. And then I have a half a teaspoon of dry mustard one teaspoon of thyme and a half a teaspoon of basil a half a teaspoon of oregano and a half a teaspoon of black pepper i am not going to add any salt right now i will add it when i go to cook my chicken then i have two cloves of garlic that i've chopped finely and about a tablespoon of finely chopped onion you could use a shallot i didn't have one so i used an onion i'm just gonna put the cover on and shake it really really well i'm not going to use all of this for my marinade i'll probably save some for salad dressing you can keep this for at least a week in the fridge and you want to shake that for about a minute and then i'm going to add a quarter of a cup of olive oil put the cover back on and shake it again all right once you have that mixed up i have about 10 chicken tenders just going to dump those in a plastic bag and I'm just going to give that another shake and I'm going to use probably three to four tablespoons depending on how much chicken you have. Seal it back up. sure they're all coated and stick it in the fridge for at least one hour you could do it for as long as you'd like you could do it overnight um, but at least one hour okay so they've been marinating actually for a couple hours in the fridge and we're just going to put these on a hot grill and they're probably not going to take too long probably four minutes or so on each side i'll be back when we flip them just add a little bit of salt to each one because I didn't put any salt in the marinade so I'm just gonna add the salt now and then when I flip them I'll put a little bit of salt on the other side it's been about four minutes and we're gonna flip them and cook them for three to four minutes on the other side until the internal temperature reaches at least 165 degrees also going to add just a little bit of salt on the tops again. Okay, so it's been another four minutes and our chicken is at 170 degrees, so I know it's done. And my husband must have added a couple little hibiscus flowers on there these are super easy to make i hope you give them a try please like share and subscribe that would help me out a great deal and i will see you on the next one